Hello and welcome back to the Restart channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things cannabis as we release new videos weekly. Today, we're diving into the aromatic world of terpenes. First, let's address the question, what are terpenes? Simply put, terpenes are organic compounds produced by a variety of plants, including cannabis. They're what give plants their distinct aroma and flavor. There are over 200 terpenes in cannabis alone, but today we'll focus on the most commonly found ones, such as myrcene, limonene, pinene, linalool, and karyophyllene. What's fascinating is that these terpenes aren't unique to cannabis. Myrcene, for instance, is also found in thyme and mangoes. Limonene, as you might guess, is in citrus fruits. Pinene is in, can you guess it? Pine trees. Linalool is also found in lavender and karyophyllene is found in black pepper. But why are these terpenes important in cannabis? Well, they play a significant role in differentiating the effects of various cannabis strains. Brains. It's all down to the entourage effect. The idea that cannabinoids like THC and CBD and terpenes work together to enhance or alter the effects of one another. For example, myrcene is believed to have sedative effects and can potentially enhance the psychoactive properties of THC. And limonene? it might uplift your mood, while linalool is said to have calming properties. Now here's a challenge. Terpenes are volatile and can be lost during the cannabis extraction process. That's why many producers reintroduce them later to ensure their benefits aren't lost. While these effects are widely reported anecdotally, it is important to note that scientific research on terpenes is still in fact in its early stages. That said, understanding terpenes can help you choose a cannabis product that suits your needs. If you're looking for relaxation, maybe choose a strain high in linalool. Need a boost? Look for limonene. Remember, terpenes contribute more than just aroma and flavor. They can potentially impact your overall cannabis experience. As always, it's essential to consume responsibly and remember that everybody's body chemistry is different, so effects may vary. You might be wondering, can you use terpenes in other ways? Absolutely. In fact, terpenes are widely used in aromatherapy, cosmetics, and the food industry for their potential therapeutic effects and distinct aromas. For instance, the linalool in lavender is often used in essential oils for its soothing properties, while the limonene in citrus fruits can provide a refreshing scent. And in the food industry, terpenes add flavor to everything, from soft drinks to confectionery, making your favorite treats even more enjoyable. So whether you realize it or not, terpenes are all around us, shaping our experiences with the natural world and giving cannabis its unique characteristics. By the way, sometimes you might see a product labeled as cannabis derived or botanically derived, and that is to indicate the source from where the terpene was extracted from. Since we mentioned the same terpene can exist in both cannabis and other botanicals, you might be wondering, is there a difference in the effects of the terpenes? Some do argue that only terpenes derived from cannabis will provide the full potential of effects, while others suggest that terpenes, regardless of their source, can contribute to the overall experience when combined with with cannabinoids. To recap, cannabis terpenes are organic compounds that give cannabis its distinct aroma and flavor. They're believed to play a crucial role in the entourage effect, potentially impacting the overall cannabis experience. And remember, research is still ongoing and effects can vary from person to person. Well, that wraps up our exploration of terpenes. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye y'all.